As promised, in today's video, I'm going to share with you what essentials I had packed for my one week trip to Hawaii, basically my entire life in a carry-on. One thing you guys didn't know is that I also brought two boxes for consignment. So I actually had all of that stuff with my own things and my laptop and my gear and I was able to fit all of that. I was even impressed with myself. It was definitely not easy, which is why I'm documenting in a video so I can rewatch it myself and just do the exact same thing next time. Plus I get to share with you a really awesome product which I think you guys will love as well. Try to pack as early as you can, even if it's just about opening your suitcase and just putting things that you know you're gonna wear or that you're gonna need. Sometimes it's as silly as that little thing that you always forget. Um, you don't even have to organize it right away, but just to have sort of that visual or have that getting started way ahead of time really, really helps. I went essentially in the middle of winter season and that is really really difficult because you're going from a very cold environment to a very hot environment so how do you not overpack because you need all of that stuff when you come back and when you're leaving so um i do have a trick and it's sort of it's not going to be possible for everyone but if you can get away with having someone drive you to the airport i'll still be wearing my bigger coat on the way to the airport but leave your coat behind with that person and ask that person to bring it back when they are coming to pick you up this portion of the video is sponsored by level eight so thank you so much for sending me this awesome luggage and we will go over the features and just like how awesome it is this was not the initial carry-on luggage that i brought with me to my hawaii trip because they could not send the luggage to me on time right before my trip instead i received the luggage while i was in hawaii so i did my full first impression review in hawaii this is their premium carry-on luggage made of aluminum and i will just say it i I've always sort of liked the idea of getting a Remoa, but I don't travel as often as I would have loved. Like if I traveled like 10 times a year and I'm always gonna need it, then yeah, I'll splurge on a Remoa, but it just wasn't sort of worth it for me to spend thousands of dollars on a beautiful Remoa. And that's fine if you do, but for me, I'm really, really happy with this one. Whether I use this luggage or my original luggage, which happens to be the Delcy. No shade to the Delcy, I still still very, very much love it. Um, but everything that I packed will go very well on a V level eight. And because I wanted to really experience how tough this luggage can be, I even checked it in on my way home. Obviously I had to, um, and it survived and it did pretty well. So let's roll into the review portion and let's take a look at what it is all about. To my left side, it is this beautiful view of the ocean. Yes, I'm in Hawaii. That is the reason why I had this shipped to my hotel because I wanted to test drive this level 8. They contacted me and wanted me to try one of their luggages and I chose this one because I was really really attracted to the aluminum finish. And while I was looking up the reviews, a lot of people were comparing it to the Remoa. Even though they're not the exact same thing, but this is a, a fraction of a cost too. So first impression. It's nice and smooth. It has this nice, cool um, aluminum finish. It actually is cool to the touch. The handles have this slow release and um, it's got like a nice um, rubber grip. So it's very comfortable to the touch. That's how you open the luggage. I really love this feature where you don't have to unzip anything. It just opens straight away. And then you've got these quick release separators. This also apparently you can fully remove so if you have anything more bulky or you can also fold it up. Um, oh it has a nice little luggage tag. So same on this side there's a quick release and also completely removable if you need to and it comes with this super cool extra packing cube set. Let's see a dirty laundry. I can change it up. I can put shoes in here, makeup, and it's even got separators inside. Okay. 
Oh, this one is plain. This aluminum luggage is finely crafted with aerospace grade aluminum magnesium alloy. One of their best selling red dot award winning luggage. Spins really well. Does it go higher? I don't know. Oh, it does. Yeah, so four different levels of um, so even if you're really tall. Here's a comparison of my old current luggage and this new luggage. As you can see, this one is slightly taller. And this one has um, a little bit more width and is expandable. So this one is not expandable. While I love this luggage, it already broke actually. My luggage, this part, I don't know if you can see, it's already broken. This is already sort of like a replacement, but it's always a little loose. And um, this one is acrylic or plastic, supposedly. And of course you have to unzip it. This luggage is slightly heavier because it's all metal. It's about 10 pounds. Uh, this one is all plastic, so it's about seven pounds. I'm also gonna check in this luggage and we're gonna see how badly it dings up and scratches. Hopefully not so bad, but I heard that it's quite durable and a little bit of scuffing is completely normal. Luggage in action. We're on our way to our gate. Nothing on this side. The wheels look, you know, just worn out. It's okay. Um, there's a little bit of scuffs here. A few scuffs here. But those are to be expected if you do check in your luggage, I suppose. Yep. Otherwise, not too bad. These are just like scuffs. These are not things. Dirty. Okay, so. Everything looks good. <laughs> so that's the flat stuff on top that we have. And then I have the packing cube, the large packing cube on that one side with all my clothes. Some dirty laundry on top. I have my luggage full at the moment and let's unpack her. Of course, I also had my Longchamp travel bag, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let's switch her to the side and open her up. Let's remove this because we can and that is so much easier to show you. So you can opt to use these or forego them and you can also fold them up. By the way, I forgot my jacket, so I just folded it last minute and put it in there. So I have a very thin jacket that I always put in my bag just in case it was too windy. And all my clothes are on this side. So as you can see, I am using their packing cube. So this is the large size packing cube. It also, of course, came with this size, which is half the size of this, which is typically the size that I normally use. So prior to this luggage, I used this packing cube. So I could technically have used these two together, but I just went ahead and used the big one just to show you how cool and how it fits all the clothes that I needed for this trip. So keep in mind that I am a petite woman and all my clothes are pretty small and thin. This is all I needed for Hawaii for a seven day. And actually I had more clothes than I needed, in fact. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is what I had packed. So we're going to get pretty intimate. So please give it a like so far because I really try my best to recreate the whole uh, packing scenario for you. All right, let's just do it this way because it's kind of neat like this. So let's open her up. What I love about packing cubes is that the moment you arrive, you just take out this whole cube and then you can have all your clothes, your PJs, all your smaller things that you don't want to lose. So some of the smaller things I didn't want to lose is for example, my scarf ring. 
I used the scarf ring for one of my outfits. I also had an extra apple strap. I was already wearing the other one, but I had an extra one for my sporty look. And then right in here, we have both of my Hermes belts, twisted them together, put them all in one baggie so it saves space. Right underneath here, we have the accessories that went with the Kelly pocket belt. So I have the gold color one here and I was using the black one as my wallet inside my Chanel bag already. So I just brought the extra one here. I have one bucket hat right here on top the silk pillowcase that I was using in Hawaii. Total of 10 underwears, and they were all just neatly packed on one side. As you all know, I love wearing my scarves as tops. I brought five scarves, one, two, three, four, five. And I only ended up wearing four because I had more than enough outfits for Hawaii. In any case, if you're interested, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you wanna see another updated scarf video or maybe a part two to my original scarf video. Right here, you see there are two skirts. They are the Lily Silk Mim Stella skirt and it's just so beautiful the pleating and everything you just fold them in half like this and then put it in your luggage hang them when you arrive so that the creasing is reduced uh, but honestly these have traveled so well and I brought both of mine I have the silver and the black all right on this side I'm just gonna move it move it down but basically um, it's the same thing, just, you know, one cube versus two smaller cubes. I have one pair of yoga shorts, one pair of sports shorts that are cotton, and these are from New Balance, and I just wore this outfit along with this top. This is the Stella McCartney Adidas collab. Um, so I had this polo, sleeveless polo, with this as my last day outfit, and I'll talk about my traveling outfit as well. My bathing suit, so the top and the bikini bottom. I had my crop top. This is the Victoria Beckham crop top that I wore with my Chanel see-through uh, short sleeve, which is right here. I also had this Chanel top, one of my favorites. Super, super nice, super thin, and goes so well with shorts and the pleated skirt. This is the Paris Soul collection, and I wore the crop top underneath this. I have this ginger yellow Lily Silk Mim shirt, and it's a long sleeve shirt. It's again, it's silk, so it's very thin, super packable. And when you arrive at the hotel, just take it out right away and hang everything. It won't get too wrinkly because you just need to survive the flight, basically. Two pairs of shorts. That's all I brought with me. So this is a pair of linen shorts quite nice and thin and it's from frame denim and then my actual denim shorts also from frame denim i definitely have pjs and these were the ones that i packed these are very lightweight silk pjs so that's all the clothes as you can see it fit in one side of the luggage and it was it was nicely packed it was compact but there was still definitely space right on the side okay let's move on to the opposite side which is where i sort of put everything that was on the bulkier side right on top i have two bags so my nylon backpack from the sports sack i love how this is thin and compact my other handbag so i brought a total of three handbags the other handbag that i had brought with me was this one and i had this one with me uh, at all times and I stored this in my other travel bag which I will talk about later. Right here we have another packing cube and like I said I love this feature about the level 8 packing cube. You can customize them to different things so I just left one cable in there but I had my charging cable for my laptop, I had the cable for my camera, for my filming camera, I had all sorts of different cables but obviously right now I'm just showing you what I had packed but all the cables went in one of the pouches and this is a great little packing cube pouch for that. I also have my camera and then and as you can see, I have my Dyson. I cannot go anywhere without my air wrap Dyson. So this is just something that I always bring with me. Just wherever I have space, I just try to carefully place it in there. I had brought two different attachments with me. I have the curling barrel. This is the long version. And I also had the brush 
head, which is the drying brush head. And I just also use this as my comb. My baggie with all the makeup. So all the makeup that has no liquids is all in here. Down in here, I have a mini tripod. So this was the tripod I had with me. And I just put it inside this uh, ideal little baggie because it fits. And then I have my glasses. Yes, I do wear glasses. I also had my contacts, my dailies, which because they had liquid, I separated them and I will talk about that in a minute. This is my reusable foldable shopping bag and it's from their brand Rumi. I've had this for ages. Everything else in here are shoes. So as you see, I had three pairs of shoes aside from the running shoes that I was already wearing during travel. So I had a pair of sandals, a little bit more dressy. I had a pair of sporty, the Columbia walking sandals. I also had brought one pair of dad sandals from Hermes. I always use the space in between these beams to pack my shoes because then you're still utilizing some of the space that you would otherwise lose. In addition to the carry-on, of course, I had my personal item, which is this bag. So this is the travel size Le Pliage, and this is the smaller size travel bag. This is the 45 centimeter size, and I love, love, love this bag. So obviously, um, 45 centimeter is still a little bit longer than your personal size allowance but i didn't fill it up so it still fit underneath the seat in front of me so as you can see it's a really nice size bag it is basically it's very similar to the 45 keep all from lv and i love this one it's so great buy it on farfetch guys that's that's all i'm gonna say uh they have all kinds of different colors you might not be able to find this exact one i did buy this one a while ago but in any case uh, this is where i had put my laptop so my laptop was in a laptop sleeve one thing you guys didn't know is that i also brought some things to consign so i had my consignment items in here this was the only luxury handbag i had brought with me i decided to go with this one because i love that it's caviar it's black it has a handle and a crossbody strap so i had my passport i had my wallet in addition to that i also had another little pouch where i had basically everything i needed on the plane so i had some alcohol wipes I have a lens cleaner. I had some ginger mints. I had the headphones for the plane to watch movies. And just, uh, I think I had some tissues in here as well. And if you're wondering about my liquids, that's also where I put it in this bag because I wanted to be able to open it quickly for TSA, for security so that they can check. So all of the liquids that I brought fit in a one liter bag. In order to save space in this bag, because I couldn't bring every full size toiletry with me, I really suggest that you save these sample size um, like serums and face creams. The whole seven days I had a a uh, nighttime face cream in one of these little sachets and it lasted me the entire trip. Some of you were wondering what chain I was using during my trip where I had been able to wear my phone crossbody. And it's from Casetify. This is so amazing. I highly recommend it. And I'll also link it down below. They sell it on their site, of course, and also on Amazon. So you just buy this, which is what they call um, a strap card. So this is patented. It's the strap card that is universal, fits in most cases. In any case, as long as your case has a cutout for the charger and it cannot be an open cutout, so it has to fit um, and it cannot come out. Um, so you just put the strap card like that. This strap is also from Case Defy and it's really great. This is their snake chain. I love this one so much because it's so pretty. It's also gold plated electroplated so it's really resistant i used it for the entire trip this was sent to me by a subscriber by the way so thank you so much i was able to pick it up right before i went to the airport so it came in so handy there is also this other version which is a little bit more sporty it's an adjustable cord with my jewelry i was already wearing all of it during my travel but i also brought this pouch which is just a travel pouch from Cartier. this is just their ring pouch 
So at any times I wasn't wearing any of these pieces, I would just put it in the pouch and then inside my Chanel bag. The only um, earrings that I had brought were these ones. These ones are so incredible because you can basically create several different looks. I'll just link it down below. So I have the live add-on with the Billy add-on here. Aside from that, I was also already wearing my travel outfit, which I re-wore on the last day. Yeah, essentially it's about planning ahead of time. Put it in there. It doesn't have to be organized right away, but you can start organizing as soon as you have more things and especially the packing cube, guys. It's just the best thing in the world. And anything flat can be going in more towards the end. Um, utilize the back of the luggage with the two beams for your shoes so that you're not losing that space in between. It doesn't work for everyone, of course. Some people just need more things. I'm kind of on the minimal side. If you have a big family, it's not gonna work. Obviously, it was just me and my husband. And also check out level eight. I'm gonna have theirs, um, their stuff linked down below. I honestly think that even if you don't go for this luggage, which is their premium line. Check out their packing cube. They're so great. It's such a game changer. I highly, highly recommend them. And I will say not all packing cubes are made equal. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, guys. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.